all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna or this morning uh, you've already seen the other video of the unboxing of these so now we're gonna be taking a look at the steak and eggs uh, that was gifted in that trade and uh, thank you again Deja I really do uh, I appreciate uh, I appreciate it so let's go ahead and take a look at this Minotaur ration steak and eggs. So we've got a uh, their standard Sky Flakes crackers. These are non-flavored ones. You have a accessory kit. Let's see here, chocolate peanut spread. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Let's see if we can get it. I mean. Even if I got a date code off of this, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm going to assume that that's a 2020 because it's 0016. So, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to assume that this is a 2020 date code on that. Oh, here's our steak and egg scrambled freeze dried. Alright, that's... It is a it's 290 calories, but it doesn't say like what's what the uh, weight is on this. So we're gonna need to add four ounces of hot water to the bag and let it stand for eight minutes. Season it to taste and eat. So the ingredients are freeze dried sirloin steak, butter flavored, freeze dried scrambled eggs. Soybean oil and non-fat milk. Production date was on the May of 2021. Nice. So it, that peanut butter would reflect on the 2020. Okay, all day, all day snack smooth smoothie snack blend. Interesting name. 480 calories. It's a third of a cup. So. If you want to read the ingredients, you can do that. This was produced on uh, April of 2021. Okay. Let's see what else do we have in here. We've got some hazelnut, three-in-one hazelnut coffee. So we've got freeze-dried coffee, sugar, vegetable oil, sodium cassinate, palm oil, soybean, corn syrup, all right, so our directions are 6 16 point or 17 ounces of, of hot water. So we're going to make this in the bag and then, then sweeten the taste and drink. For stronger flavor, reduce your hot water. Uh, February of 2021 on that. That's very interesting. And it looks like we have a drink. So we had a coffee and now we have a drink. Tropical Blast drink mix. Electrolyte replenishment. Gluten-free. Another 17 ounces of water on this, and you can make it in the bag. And we have a Roshan dark chocolate. Uh, probably gonna probably pronouncing that wrong, but Roshan dark chocolate bar with filling. Very interesting. Product of the Ukraine. All right. This is what I like about Minotaur. Okay, so let's go and check this uh, accessory pack out. Come on. Uh, why didn't I just use this? Why didn't I just use the scissors? Because that would have been too easy, right? So we got a small spork here. This is going to be a. It's going to be a wet nap, I believe. Yep. I can feel it. Got a pack of sugar. So one pack of pepper. Small pack. We have a single serve iodized salt. Non-dairy coffee creamer. And we got some more coffee. And we got a small pack of Smarties. All right, guys. So. Uh, let me go heat up some water and uh, we'll start getting this stuff out. 
All right, so I got the boiling water for our main. Let's go ahead and take care of it now. So that required four ounces of hot water. See what we got in here. Ooh, look at that. Not much of a smell at all, but that's okay. It does say shake, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it a stir and then a bit of a shake. Make sure you seal it up properly so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Alright, I think that's good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and set that right over here. And we will take care of these drinks. So the first one up is a Tropical Blast drink mix, which requires 17 ounces. So I'm just gonna measure it here in this probably end up just mixing it in here. Oh wait, we can do it in the bag, that's right. Let's see what we can do in the bag. Yeah, I just wanna make sure that these cups are not 16 ounce, so. That's an interesting smell. Yeah, it says 16 ounces, but there's or 17 ounces, but there's no way that's getting all in the bag and then zipping it closed. Yeah, it's getting all over the place. Probably not a good idea, to be honest with you. Look. I was just going to mix it in the uh, in the actual uh, measuring cup there. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually mix, maybe stir a little bit of this up. Well, I think it's as best as it's going to get. Let's go ahead and pour what we can. Alright, let's do the hazelnut. You know, I'm just going to do cold water on this one. I like my coffee a little strong, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna mix it in the uh, bag this time. Ooh, that smells really good. Well, it's going to clump up on me because it's not hot. Might have to put it in the microwave. Let's see what happens here. Alright, well, you know, I mixed, I mixed the you-know-what out of it and... It looks like it did pretty good. I know I'm going to get some flack. You got, some guys are going to say, hey, you should have put hot water in there. But sometimes I like my coffee cold. 
So anyway, we got that out. I couldn't put it all in there, so we got extra. Alright, let me grab Trey. Alright, well, our main is still heating up. So let's go ahead and take a little look at the rest of this. This is the all-day snack smooth smoothie snack blend. It's a very uh, interesting name there. Ooh. Let's see what we got in here. It's like a like a tropical blend. Coconut, dried strawberries. Ooh. Uh pineapple, yogurt chips. Nice. That's a uh, nice little blend there. You know, I'm going to actually go and switch this over to here. Now, let's see. All right. Uh, there's three crackers in there, and they broke up, so I think we got enough. Good enough for there. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of this chocolate peanut spread. On one of these. Oh, come on. That's a chunky peanut butter, by the way. All right, well, it happens to be the eight minute mark as we're plating everything. So let's go ahead and check on this. All right, there's a little bit of water there. Bags, I mean, you could scrape it out. But here we are. Now our steak and eggs. Now I'm going to tell you, because when I have breakfast, I prefer salt and pepper on my eggs. Or a lot of anything in general, so... I'm not going to put all that. It's a lot of salt. Let's go ahead and put the salt and pepper on here. Oh, especially pepper. There ain't going to be enough in the pack for me. All right. Not really sure what that's doing in there. Like a piece of carrot or something. All right. So look at these little cube pieces of steak. Let's try it out on our own. Oh, that's definitely steak. Oh, yeah. And we got a powdered egg, I believe. I could be wrong. But let's dig in. The steak could have used a little bit more time for reconstitution. But. Amazing. It's actually. <laughs> this is actually good. Not a lot of, of egg taste. And I think the reason why is because. Uh. The flavor from the steak kind of just overwhelmed the uh, the uh, eggs. Mm. 
but good ration. I've I personally never had a freeze dried steak and eggs before. That will be my that is my first menu, and uh, it's delicious. Let's try out this tropical blast drink. Very interesting. It's like a, a mix of about the only thing I can taste in there is pineapple. Let's check out this coffee. Okay, so for most of you on that coffee, you probably wouldn't put sugar in there, but I like my coffee straight. And it's actually surprisingly, even though it looks watery for some reason, the coffee's strong. Mmm. It could use a little bit of sugar, but I'm going to pass. I'm going to finish the rest of that little piece of steak right there. Can't let it go to waste. Hmm. Very interesting. I can't say I've ever had a piece of freeze-dried strawberry before. That's a really cool ration. I think we've had peanut butter and uh, chocolate before. Tasty. It's not uh, overwhelming with chocolate. But, uh, and now these crackers too, they taste so much better than the, uh, militaries. I mean, I don't know why they can't do this for ours. I mean, I know this was a per commercial pack, but it's just a saltless saltine cracker. But it's really good. Shall we try this uh, dark chocolate? I'm going to just open up a little bit of this because my wife loves dark chocolate. And I don't want to waste it. She always likes trying the... the uh, chocolate from around the world, excuse me, that we get from these rations. Here's like a softer chocolate inside. Hmm. Very interesting flavor. Really smooth. Um, trying to see if there's a date on here. Yep, there we go. So, it's still good. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. So that the wife can enjoy some. And of course some Smarties. Can never... Can never go bad with Smarties. Some of my favorite candies. Alright guys, well. What else have we got? We can test out this, uh, wet nap.
you know, if you guys could too, uh, go ahead and if you want to in the comments, uh, just give a shout out to Deja for giving all these awesome menus to us. Uh, I think that'd be really cool, you know. I need I need to start doing something for you guys uh, who are donating and doing give uh, doing ration swaps and stuff. Uh, start calling, giving shout outs more often. But um, all right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm not going to. Uh, we're not gonna splurge and just run right through all these rations. We're gonna just kind of cherish them and. Do them every once in a while, uh, maybe once a month or every couple weeks. But um, anyway, uh, until next time, guys. Have a good one.